New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell, no relation to Jerry. She is in deep Cajun yogurt after spending a whopping 30 grand to fly first class. Now she's refusing to reimburse the city. It's getting very itchy to recall her. Uh, and it's also home to a lot of residents who make far less than $30,000 a year. The mayoress can't be bothered to toil and coach with the dirty simpletons because as a black woman, she should simply be, she would be unsafe flying with the masses. One trip alone to France, which last I checked is neither in Louisiana nor New Orleans, set her city back $18,000 one way. And I gotta say, nothing on earth makes you feel as safe as a lie flat bed on a long international flight while you're snuggled in a down comforter, washing a ramekin of warm nuts down with top shelf gin and tonic. Mm. Cantrell, she's dug in on the issue and chances are she'll probably find a few more goodwill trips across the pond, letting those sad sacks she calls constituents pay for every upgrade. But why stop there? If she really requires safety, there is no better feeling than flying in a G7 bubble. If she feels safer and first, she'll feel utterly refreshed in a private fortress. Frankly, this is what New Orleanians should be spending their money on. With crime almost non-existent in the city, those dumb cops are being way overpaid with their $40,000 a year salaries. Latoya Cantrell isn't the first politician to make the travel flex. She's just the most recent, remorseless, and clumsiest. Remember former HHS Secretary Tom Price? Yeah, he cost taxpayers over a million dollars. Flying on private and military flights, he resigned in disgrace. Cori Bush, a famous police defunder, you know, the congresswoman, she has spent close to 400 grand on private security, and somehow she still has a job, also on the taxpayer's dime. If you want to be a public servant, serve the public humbly and within bounds. If you want to live like a Kardashian, go get a big booty and a famous boyfriend, or make a sex tape with Ray J, then tool around in your flying Lamborghini. For now, stop being a tool, LaToya, by taking advantage of the poorest people in your city. They've been through enough. The last thing they need is a grifting mayor who's long on excuses and very short on common sense or ethics. And that's the memo.